So let's talk about attachments in Outlook. If you wanted to download all the attachments, if you're struggling about that attachments are not shown in Outlook, how to send attachments in Outlook thread, how to view attachments. So this section of this video will help you understand uh, anything and everything about attachment. I have two mailbox open right in front of me. Uh, mailbox one is here and I have mailbox two here. So I will show you a little bit. This is R1 and this is R2. And what I'm going to do with that <laughs> to show you one of the setting before I go into attachment is called warn sharing. So what it does, it has an AI capabilities. Usually if your tenant is new, it's enabled. What it does, it automatically warns you that if you're typing in the body in a subject, hey, find the attach. And if your attachment um, is missing, it will let you know and you, then you can add the attachment. So here's an example. Let's say if I'm going to send a message to Adnan or to see attach. Here is the attached file. And if I don't, then here you go. If I were to go and disable that feature, this will not pop up here. An email will be sent without attachment, which we have seen many times. So there is a new capability for attachment reminder in Microsoft Outlook. So if you don't have that, go take a look. And definitely you wanted to enable it. And you can say it. Don't show me so next time uh, it will automatically disable it. So don't send and I want to attach. So now I'm going to attach a couple of attachments and then we will see how we can open it all, how we can download all. So I'm going to attach a huge number of attachments here. So there are a couple of options now is going to attach these attachment in Microsoft OneDrive. You can also attach them as an attachment like traditional way, but here they are going to be cloud attachments. Means these attachment will be in, appear in my cloud and it will remain in Microsoft 365. Um, there is another way if you can open another Outlook here, let me show you to compose one more. All right, so here I have, that's a new email. And uh, if I were to come back here, so let me, before I do that, so here is an option, which is this one, attached file. You see here is an Outlook, is going to OneDrive, here's an attach. So I will cancel it. I will come back here and attach. If I do this, it will be typical traditional attachment file like normally uh, it can. So what's the benefit, right? Usually Microsoft Outlook give you a very large mailbox regardless. But here is when you send this separate attachment, they will deliver locally on your machine and they can be stored. So that's one of the benefit. And here, this is in OneDrive. So for example, if you are accessing email offline and you do not have internet, so this email attachment will be available to you offline. However, these attachments require you to access to the internet because they are in OneDrive and OneDrive is in the cloud. So if you want, you can always check it at home, access this attachment whenever you don't have a Wi-Fi and access this attachment. So you will have access to these and these may not be uh, able to access because they're not available offline and they are in OneDrive. Um, that's the, one of those, but in most cases, I would prefer to use this. Um, that's like one of the feature to uh, occupy less space on your computer because a year later, it will keep growing and your offline Outlook file will grow much bigger. Your Outlook will be slower and many other things. So best practices, unless you need to um, 
then you don't just use this traditional old school. So that's one of these things um, is here. So you can attach the file likewise. So we'll send one email like this to this mailbox and attachment has arrived. So when I'm going to click the attachment, you see it's going to open in a web interface, web browser. You can see sharepoint.com, this and that, this is available. Now let me send in the same user another email attachment. And this way we are doing an offline attachment. More attachments are here. Have a look. And if we gonna send it to this mailbox, here another email came and you see the attachments are different here. Here are the attachments they come came as this. So you see the difference. What I'm trying to explain and share you here. These attachments, if you mouse over here at the bottom, you will see the path. I'm enter cloud dash my SharePoint. And then when you click on these, it will open in a browser like this. If I go to my previous email, you see all attachments are appear as an attachment. If I click on it, it appears in a preview option and all these attachments are here. You can preview, you can preview all of them. And here is an also an option to download all. So if you wanted to download it offline and you can see nine attachments I've sent it. So here is the huge difference when you click on it. It's there in one drive. These attachments are in your mailbox. And you have an option if you click on download all, which I'm going to for this demonstration. And I'm going to open this box. So if you see here, compare as a more attachment. And here is an offline attachments here on my Microsoft um, on MacBook. Download this as a folder. So this is how these attachments are downloaded in a zip file. Then I have extracted those and that's how attachments are there. So if you wanted to download all, here's an option, you can view, view them. So it depends how the sender has sent you those emails, right? If they have attached the email in OneDrive, you will be accessing emails or attachments in a OneDrive like this. Now, you may be thinking, what if I need to download this attachment? Yeah, simple, you can download it. You can print it, you can click on download, it will download it here, and there you go. So there are different options. You can send email in the OneDrive, you can send them a traditional as an attachment, depending how you want to do it, but I would still recommend use the attachment in a OneDrive. So if you lose your laptop, if your laptop is stolen, your attachments are there in OneDrive. So for example, um, these are there, you still have access to this attachment, for example, when we click on it, and you can always ask them to send it back. So. And this is where and how you can access your OneDrive just in case. Uh, we have to go where you have all these apps. And you want to see this is your OneDrive. When you click on it here, yeah. So this will be assigned to you from your administrator. But that's being said, that's how you can access. We're going to look into this, this mailbox and the attachments we have loaded, you should be able to see and find it. So basically what you can tell the same requester, as I said, if your laptop is stolen or something along those lines, you can always have access to your file. So this is the first time setting it up. Well, your OneDrive is ready. And if you remember, we shared these and we just found these attachments here, my files, 
attachments and here you go. All the attachments are here. Everything in the cloud because we uploaded and that's how it is. So if you have this thing, you need to enable it and then uh, you can get access to the attachment. So I hope you get an idea how attachment works, how you can download it. If you like it, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye.